Hi, uh, I'm Alex and I'm going to tell you about uh, the LC circuit resonance. So, I drawn here an LC circuit, uh, C standing for capacitor and L for inductance. And we know that the capacitor has the capacitive reactance and the inductor an inductive reactance, which both of them are given by the following formulas. The capacitive inductance, uh, noted by me with Xc, is 1 over 2 pi multiplied by frequency and by uh, capacitance, measured in uh, farads. And the inductive reactance is 2 pi multiplied by frequency uh, multiplied by L, which is uh, inductance measured in uh, arms. Okay, so uh, when the circuit resonance uh, resonates, uh, both of them must be equal. So, uh, yeah, this is what you get. Uh, and I'm going to try to find the frequency. So I'm going to multiply these two, which will equal 1. So, yeah, this is what you get. And the frequency, the square of the frequency, is equal to this. And by extracting the root, we have that the frequency equals 2 equals 1 over 2 pi multiplied by square root of L multiplied by C. And for that, I'm not going to show you the Breuer oscillator. Okay, so now I'm going to present you the Breuer oscillator, which uh, schematics I have drawn right here. First, uh, we have uh, the DC source, which is somewhere between 12 volts. So, the current flows through the primary coil of uh, the transformer, which are 8 turns center tap. There are two coils, this part and the other one. Okay, so, uh, the current will flow to the, to the transistors, but one of them will be activated sooner than the other. When this happens, the current will flow, let's say this one activates first. So, the current will flow from here to here, making an inductive, uh, making a flux, a magnetic flux in the... Um, what's this called? The... Um, Core. Through the core, exactly. Sorry. It's ferrite core of the flyback transformer. Yeah, right. the ferrite, ferrite core of the flyback transformer. So, this uh, flow will activate the flyback coil, which will send the current to the gate, closing this one <coughs> and opening the other. When this happens, the current will now flow from here to here, making a reverse flux. This also activates the flyback coil, which in turn uh, closes the first gate and opens, the, and opens this gate. And the cycle repeats tens of thousands of times per second. Okay, so uh, this, happened, this results in an alternative flux in the ferrite core. And in the secondary winding, which I have not drawn, results tens of thousands of volts at relatively small, small uh, intensity. Yeah, okay, so, so now let's see practical. This is our power supply, uh, which carries uh, 18 volts at somewhere around 10 amps, which is quite okay. And uh, here is a condenser of, to and filter, and, yes, a capacitor, to filter any um, ripple. Okay, because I don't trust this power supply at all. Good, now um, we see here the two transistors, which are actually MOSFETs, because, uh, well, for one, they carry much power, and for the second, they are quite efficient. Okay, this, um, these two are the two um, coils. The first is the yellow one, made with yellow wire, and the other is with purple. Okay, and this is the ferrite core. Here is the second, uh, no, I don't know. Winding. Yeah, here's the second winding. Okay, now, now um, I'm going to turn all these things up. On. So... Uh, we got an oscilloscope yeah, here. Yeah, we have an oscilloscope to see that. Okay, here's the... Sinusoid. Sinusoid. Good, now let's see what happens when high voltages are... Played with. Yeah. Okay, uh, Arcing starts at about one centimeter, which would indicate around about 10,000 volts. Yeah. And if we strike an arc... Okay, and now let's see what happens when the sparks happen. So, he's striking an arc. And the sinusoid yeah. oh, wobbles. And the power supply is 
complaining also. Yeah, the power supply <laughs> says that it's not liking it. Look at how much current, current it drawing. pulls. And the MOSFETs don't even get warm. We didn't even bother to put on to turn on the cooling fan. No need for such a thing. Yeah, because they're so efficient and so. The only no thing that limits them is the avalanche uh, breakdown voltage. So they're avalanche rated. So can't be that. Okay, so that's about it. That's about it. Thank you. Bye.